Well, here we are. We're going to be talking today about the Sonos Split. They are dividing their app between the new system going forward and a legacy system if you've got some of their older gear. And so let's start talking about the new gear. They've got three new products coming out. They've got the Sonos Arc, they've got uh, the new Play 5, and they've got the new Sonos Sub. That's all new stuff that will only work on the new Sonos app coming out or what they call S2. If you have got any of the older gear, and we'll go through a list here, it will not work on the new S2 app. And that's a really important thing to uh, understand. The good thing though is that if you still have a lot of Sonos gear and you're not planning on getting any of the new things like I talked about, the Arc, the new Play 5 and the Sub, you can still use the S1 app and still have all that functionality, including all the voice assistant stuff with Google and uh, Alexa. So. How can you tell if you have the old stuff and the new stuff? The most simplest way is actually logging into your Sonos account. They make this super simple. Here's my account and I can actually easily see, and I've got a lot of Sonos stuff here, what is still uh, compatible with the new system going forward and what is a legacy. I've got a lot of the older uh, Sonos uh, zone players, uh, the amps and the players themselves. I made a little, pretty big investment back, uh, I think about 12 years ago. But believe me, I got my money's worth. These things have been fantastic. But again, you can see right in the website here and in your account, which is going to be the legacy and which is still compatible. And so this is important. You have to make a decision now. Do you want to go all new, making sure that everything you get going forward, if, if you plan on buying any new stuff, is compatible with the new Sonos app, which is again, S2? Well, there is a trade-in program that Sonos has uh, offered. If you've got the old stuff here, and I've got a few of the items here and we'll list them off. It's the old Sonos Zone players, the first generations of the Connect Amp and the Connect, the Sonos Bridge and the CR200 uh, as well. That's old stuff. If you've got any of those, you can qualify for the 30% discount on new Sonos gear. And you know, if you haven't got a lot of the old legacy stuff, I would highly recommend that because then you're going to be able to take advantage of all the new functionality that they'll bring out in the next few years in that new Sonos app. Some people have a hard time uh, with some of the stuff. This is the uh, Sonos Connect amp. They also have uh, the Sonos Connect and they kind of look identical between the first and the second generation. The second generation ones will work with the new Sonos S2 app. The older legacy ones, the generation one, will not. So there's an easy way to tell that. On the front of the units, that little button up top, if you've got the, the mute button, that basically will tell you you have the first generation. If the top button is that play pause button, you've got the second generation and it will work with the, the newer stuff. So keep that in, in mind. Also another way to tell on the bottom, the first few digits of the serial number tell you what year and month they were made. If they were made in 2015, and later, towards 2020 here, you're golden. They're new. They'll work with the, uh, the new system. If it's older, like this one, 2014, it's part of the old system. So another one that might be confusing to tell between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 version of it is the Sonos uh, Play 5 model here. The first generation of the Play 5 looks dramatically different than this model. And you can see a picture here. That's a Gen 1. It's old and will not work on the new S2 app. This is the second generation model here and it will work because it is a current uh, model. If you decide to keep your old stuff, you have to set up two different Sonos systems in your house. You have to download the Sonos S1 app and that will work with everything except the new stuff. If uh, that's good, then, then you're golden. You're gonna have two networks though and so if you wanna do a group party mode and have music, throughout the entire house, it's not gonna work with the older stuff. You're gonna to have to set that up on the S1 app. I know it's a bit confusing, but hopefully that uh, starts making sense. So you're gonna to have to make a choice. If you've got some of the older stuff, and if you haven't got too many pieces, you'll have to decide whether you wanna upgrade those and just go with all new stuff and just use the new S2 app, or set up two different Sonos networks using the two different apps, the S1 app and the S2 app. If you want more information and have it all spelt out again, we've got a great blog up on our website that lists everything for you at getconnectedmedia.com and it'll explain step by step what you need to do. Good luck.